uh, on the way in, uh, we bumped into each other, and the question is centred around evolution, but we're go I'm going to find out if there's an actual specific question I can answer. Um, so, I've heard other debates, and I'm just curious if you can if you can fit evolution in with the Bible, and if they can go together, and if they do go together, then how do they go together? And if they don't go together, then why don't they so go four together? Four questions. Essentially, yeah, but got, it's one topic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I've got one question, like uh, just a yes or no answer. Do okay. you want them to fit together for some reason? No. No. And are you no, Christian? I know you're no That's the second question. Second, I'm on the path. Woo! That sounds a bit Buddhist, but I'm assuming you mean the right, the narrow the one. The narrow. Okay. Straight and narrow, not the broader one. So now, now we're going to see if my memory is any good. The first question is can evolution and the biblical narrative Fit be together. married together? No. Okay. <laughs> and the reason, okay, so there are there are such a thing. Um, there are theistic evolutionists, people who believe in God and to a certain extent creation. I'm going to outline their argument. And they also believe in evolution, regardless of, we'll get on to Darwinianism, but evolution. Yeah. So the Genesis is, I believe, is a literal like it should be interpreted literally. Let me outline their argument. Their thought process is that a thousand years is as one day to the Lord in the Psalms. Um, and therefore the six days of creation may well be 600,000 years of evolution. The order of uh, creatures is, is okay. Like it can be, you know, like uh, slightly modified to fit with Man came last, as it were. Sure. Um, so, <laughs> nice. I'm trying to avoid it. I know. I don't know why he came. Here, so they, so they, so they say that time is is an irrelevancy in terms of Genesis okay. because of God's word or because it of the psalmist. Sense, yep. You said there, no. And and the uh, progression of animals. My argument against it. There are. They do have other yeah. kind of uh, things that they say. I kind of so, get the point there. Yeah. yeah. So my argument against it is that. To imagine, firstly, I have no problem uh, attributing more than 24 hours to each day of creation. Okay. Because there is all, like further on slightly it says, and in the day that Yahweh created the heavens and the earth, but that wasn't one day of creation. Yeah. So we know that day can mean something other than uh, a literal day. Hours. And the sun and the moon, I think the sun was created on the third day. Right. That makes it difficult for the sun to come up on the first and the second day if you want to be like a temporal day. Yeah. Okay. So back to evolution, oh, no, back to creation. Um, the Holy Spirit's not in the business of, uh, I mean, Jesus was in the business of telling parables, but he said nothing in secret, as it were. Yeah. Um, and he, you know, he's part of the triune God who brings forth creation. Um, and he has no reason to create substandard humans. Yeah. He looked exactly. around the garden and he said, it is good. Now, good for someone who is morally perfect means it's pretty it's darn good. I mean, it's, yeah. it's good. Like, there's no yeah. gooder, as it yeah. were. <laughs> no, <better than laughs> it that. is the best that it could be yeah. prior to the fall. Uh, I'm gonna, oh, I just thought of a good, a good thing that I'm going to tell you in a minute. So, um, my argument is not solely based on that. It's based on um, science itself can refute Darwinism and uh, evolutionary theory like in general I made a video about it right. um, so and I don't have my notes with me it without ever going to the Bible you can disprove um, evolution other than adaptation you're right babes adaptation i.e. Uh, the beaks of birds getting smaller or longer and giraffes necks yeah, getting that, taller yeah, exactly. that is perfectly that that it slots in perfectly well, yeah, with the Bible. With, yeah, yeah. yeah, that's fine. There's nothing to say that, it's you know. It's yeah, but a cat is never going to become a fish if you leave it in water long enough. Yeah, you exactly. see, like, yeah. So it's a changing kind that Darwin proposed, yeah. and he couldn't fit the human eye or the aardvark into his theory. He said it woke him up in the middle of the night with, in sweats, kind of thing, because he also said if you if you can't prove this theory, because it's only a theory within a hundred years, just throw it out. And there are other elements that he had uh, difficulty with that weren't widely publicized once it was taken on as fact, as it were. And it's not fact because science doesn't claim to be the truth in a philosophical sense, because the claim that science is true can't be scientifically verified in its no. philosophy. And for science to be, um, for it to be a true and work, sorry, can you just step back a little bit, oh, sir, because of that? Oh. For it to be a true uh, and workable hypothesis, it needs to be 
uh, replicable and observable within either laboratory conditions or yeah. like in the field as it were which neither of them can happen um, I mean you couldn't just go with why are, why are there still monkeys if no, monkeys yeah. evolved into humans yeah, but the other thing I'm going to tell you is evolution is true in a biblical sense <laughs> but it's this is the sense in which it is true. Paul speaks about we are a new creation in Christ. He speaks about the inner man and the new man. Okay, we receive a new heart and we, we receive a heart yeah, of flesh. I understand. And um, yeah, we, we receive the indwelling of the Holy yeah. Spirit. So, so in a very real sense, we we Christians, as it were, I think our are... I think our souls become Well, no, our, our hearts are softened in yeah. order to be able to hear the promptings of the Holy yeah. Spirit, etc. But in a real, like, we become a new creation is literally biblical evolution. We yeah. become a new person. Not everybody, unfortunately, yeah, not but just yeah. those who accept the blood of Christ yeah. and the sacrifice. So, what, so, just curious, you know, all right, so cavemen, for example, I mean, they have, like, bones of Neanderthals and bones of... Does that kind of mean that Adam and Eve would then be essentially Neanderthals? Did you hear what I just said? Yeah, no, I did. No, 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 no I did, no, no. but... What I'm saying is these are things that they have found, so I'm a bit confused then have you seen where that them? comes from. I'm not, I'm not discounting them as uh, hoaxes no, I mean, I do believe, like I do believe that there was, that man wasn't just, see it's a tough one, I do believe that man and woman wasn't just man and woman as we do are now. Do you feel that fully potentially the, the secular education that we all received? No, because there's a lot of, um, there's a lot of... I didn't finish my, alright babes, I didn't finish of, my question though. Sorry, go on. Do you feel that the worldly, non-religious education that you received, whereby evolution is taught as fact, has it kind of failed to influence without further research or further conviction or further looking into it. I accepted a lot of things as factual because they were taught to me. And now I look that Marxism is taught as a, 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 a positive and transgenderism is taught as a... Schools are a conditioning ground in certain ways. They're just a condition of mind as you're thinking a certain so way. So, have you ever considered that, that, that the, the evolutionary narrative came around at the, you know, like the Enlightenment happened before that, Marxism came into being, class, like critical consciousness was everywhere, and then the Bible is the first, usually, to be attacked in terms of uh, scientific fact. Oh, yeah, no, I get that. So, do you feel but, like that's something to maybe no, ponder? No, what I was pointing at, though, is like the findings across the globe in all different yeah. places. Have the you seen men. them? No, I haven't seen them okay. myself, but I don't believe that there would be a world conspiracy. Oh, my gosh! Where have you been living? I don't Are you referring to the fossil record? Not fossil record. Are you talking about fossil record? Like Okay, yeah, well, if you'd call it that, I imagine, yeah. And the fossil record shows what, in your opinion? Do you know Lucy? Let me give you an example. Do you know Lucy? Do you know I, Lucy? The female. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. those bones were found over a two square mile area. There was nothing linking them. They found this is the evidence of evolution. There's no field of science that is thwart with fraud and outright lies, such as the field of evolution. Do you believe you're a eukaryote? I mean, you believe evolution, yeah, Darwinian evolution. Oh, I'm here to talk about it. I'm trying oh, to, I'm sorry, I'm trying to bring it in. Oh. Yeah, I'm yeah no, to I'm, I'm trying to give him a Christian. Darwinian evolution, when you track it through, you can't avoid it, that a rock can see you. And also, that you're related. If you go through it, you're a eukaryote, if you follow that religion. Okay. Which is a religion of death, it's a death cult. Because it requires generations of death for anything to move forward. Do you know what I mean? But... I mean, all, all of what we observe does show, I mean, this lady's doing well, but yeah, if you, if you yeah, no, believe I, evolution, you've got to believe... I've got a new one for you. ...have a you direct mean? relation to a pine tree, because you're both, you carry out your cells are the same. So does that mean, like, just an example, like the DNA structures of a human being that contains 10% canine in our DNA? So do you not believe in any... But no one would deny a creator would use common parts, like because a monkey resembles you, lives in the same climate, there's no reason to jump to the conclusion that we came from monkeys. See, I we've got billions of monkeys, we've got not Okay, one can I, man. right, I'm going to go with a different tack though, <laughs> with all due respect. <laughs> yeah. So, well, it's still a scientific one. So, I've seen um, interviews, and I can give you the link afterwards, where a Christian apologist went to some pretty decent... Uh, educational uh, establishments within America and he spoke to I believe it was macro or microbiologists like professors 
So they were educated at even better places than where they were right. working. <laughs> and each and every one of them failed to give one example of a change of kind. And they are biologists. And their students also were interviewed. And he said, all I want is one instance of a change of kind. Not adaptation, yeah, yeah, yeah. but, um, you know, speciation. And they could, and they looked as if they thought they should be able to, because they just accepted the argument without sufficient evidence. One of them came up with bacteria, and he said, "Okay, what does it turn into?" And he said, "Well, other bacteria." And he said, "So it's not a change of kind, it's then, still is bacteria it?" Bacteria at heart. Exactly, yeah. and it's still a bird if it becomes. I mean, I don't believe we come from monkeys. I really don't. I, I, I believe that's two completely different species. But I do believe that there was a species that was from. Uh, Neanderthal. And I, again, I'd press I, you. That's your claim, so I'd like yeah. you to give me some evidence. Well, I don't like have full evidence. It's just you don't have you any really, evidence. No, not from something I can pull up right now and but say. But you don't to have you. it. With yeah, Jewish, you, just, you don't, because I've had this conversation with quite a few. Like when I one guy, another Tony, like who, because I've called you Tony. Um, he said, "Oh, there's just so much evidence, I can't possibly." And I said, "Well, just one." He said, "I'll bring it next week." Never ever brought it up again. I've What's asked the, uh, him. You got the Bogman of like Regis or something Pete, like isn't that. It? Yeah, the, where his they found a Pete? guy who's Pete Bog. Pete. Who's, yeah, who's come out yeah, of yeah, a, yeah. an ancient bog who's meant to be like five thousand or ten thousand years old. There's no problem with the time. Like you know? as long as you're not a young Earth person, which I'm not. And it doesn't the, matter how long. I, ago I believe the brain can. That would be adaptation. Even so, I even think the even the differences between bones in what is considered, if they were. Um, authentic and legitimately found in one body or in one yeah. area, like that gentleman was saying, like five miles spread is not. Yeah, I have no issue believing. But what I'm saying is, if they are uh, uh, markedly different from 10,000, 15,000 years ago, it's still merely adaptation. It's not speciation. Unless a scientist who was not there 500,000 years ago says this is a different species of uh, hominin. Yeah. Like, and that's uh, subjective. That's his opinion because they don't have any um, blood or tissue or you know what I mean. Like it, yeah, with Pete, hard it's different, yeah. It. And because there is zero evidence for evolution, and it's taught so widely, you know, in ten years potentially, children will be saying this, and there's absolute proof that humans are born without a gender, and it's all indoctrination. True. And if you feel like you want to have a penis on a Wednesday and a you know uh, whatever, then that's a fact, and and you'll go, have you got any evidence for that? And they'll yeah. go. Well, there's loads, but it's just trends in education, and yeah. the world is all what Satan is um, the father of lies, and it, this world is under the sway of his dominion, wickedness. So, you 100% don't believe in evolution? That's correct. Yeah, I did. I believed in a theistic evolution. 100% don't believe in cavemen? Uh, it's not that I don't believe in uh, oh, them. Believe I have no was. proof, but if they were, again, it's adaptation. Okay. But I don't believe that Yahweh's Nothing. in the business. If this is the thing, when I was a teenager, I, I caught myself and like uh, corrected my thinking in as much as I thought that people centuries ago were a bit thicker than we are. Like I just assumed that. And I wasn't considering Aristotle or Socrates or any of the poets or writers. But I was just thinking, no, but they're still in an intellectual pursuit. I was assuming like, uh, well, they must be a bit, I don't know, they're just less intelligent because they did, because they hadn't had the benefit of all of the breakthroughs that came in the intermediate. Well, what is it? So, no, no, so sorry, so my point is, why is God, because I believe in God, why is he going to create a less than perfect human knowing it will become, he created less than perfect in terms of salvation because he knew the fall was coming, but that's a spiritual adaptation. But why do we have breakthroughs in technology now, Te med medical breakthroughs? And all different kinds of breakthroughs. If we was created absolutely perfect, yeah. then surely because we fell. That's a, another one. We fell. We became in, inured in sin. We became more interested in whatever it is than uh, helping our fellows. But also breakthroughs are now is exponentially expedited. In as much as once you once you have the breakthrough of the printing press for Tyndale and for the Bible, that was then you can have so much many more breakthroughs just on the fact that. Uh, literacy goes up and uh, now you don't have to rely on a priest to tell you what it means and now everybody can talk about it so then there'll be a breakthrough in this theology and that way of life and that education system so but you need the the crux of it like the the loom yeah. or the, yeah, the weaving no, well, I mean even from like making mud huts to making stone buildings to making brick buildings to making well, it shows buildings. that humans al always had an ingenuity that belies the fact that they may have been Neanderthal, and I mean that in a secular way, like in a, uh, 
Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah. stupid. But from that, I'm discerning then. If Sorry. That, that's right, this is going to be loud, so. Yeah, just for fun. Yeah. Just Let's just step back a second. Just ruin the focus of the vid. <laughs> Everybody, uh, London's National Health Service. There they go. There is no emergency, but they've got the lights on just for fun. Um, well, I say there's no emergency, I don't know. Step back a little bit, because I feel like you're going to make it there. So, yeah, so... Um, yeah, so it was just... Um, yeah, on the back of that, us being created perfectly, then I just, I'm not sure, I mean, if it was created so perfectly, then surely... Do you, really, do you know no what happened in Chapter anything. 3? It wasn't we were created perfectly and then skipped off into the distance and started Little House on the Prairie So Bill. Sin reduced... Sin reduced Sin introduced our, death. Sin introduced um, a proclivity to be thinking of yourself, mm. literally the bondage of self, as opposed to any altruism, any worship or glorification okay. of God. It just meant, oh no, it's now us against God. It's us against each other. Sure. It's um, it became uh, it was just denigrated massively. Creation. We we weren't there now as stewards. We were under a curse by which we would uh, suffer all of but these have things. we progressed since the days of Adam? Uh, like certain, many definitely because of Jesus. Uh, that was a massive turning point. This, the first Adam, but it says in the Bible that sin entered the world through the first Adam and the second Adam, i.e., because Adam just means man, yeah. Christ, um, like that was the atoning uh, moment for those who believe in him. Right. So that's a massive, that's the only breakthrough that anyone ever really needs. Okay. Because like, 10% of any population have got an IQ that is uh, considered in some uh, vocational disciplines as useless. Mm. But that's still one in 10 of every person around. Yeah. Like so, in terms of individual progress, like in Maslow's hierarchy kind of thing, people don't have to progress. They're free in this country, certainly, to not progress at all. It's, it's, a, it's an inner, like a motivation, or it's, an, it's like a yeah, God-given inclination to better yourself and to, or to better your fellow man and yeah. therefore you become better by helping others because at essence helping yourself well, you're not it, helping it, exactly because you can might just become more arrogant and yeah. more but when you help other people when you genuinely give of yourself it, it's only the c.s lewis said something like it's only the stuff we give away that we get to keep yeah. so if you give away a lot of love you you will yeah, feel lovely yeah, lovely time. that's the payoff yeah. And most probably, yeah. although people are in grace. Not everyone's that way, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, Jesus was okay. big on the love, yeah. which is not uh, societally readily obvious to be a solution to anything. Yeah. You would say we need more money in that thing, we need better thinkers, we need uh, more soldiers, we need uh, bigger soup kitchens. But love doesn't preclude any of those. It means that you'll be doing it for the right reason. Well, yeah, I mean. exactly. Yeah. Yeah. No, I get it. All right, well, I like the idea that you can't take um, Genesis when God created the earth. And, uh, if you the, take it poetically, day, you can take the day as a thousand yeah, exactly. years. That's quite an, that's a more sober and full. Yeah, yeah. Because it allows you to put it in a bit more perspective, really. Well, yeah, because Adam and Eve were, wise. they were unique in terms of their creation. Yeah. They were not, other than Melchizedek, like they were not born in the true sense. Um, each of them had an utterly different birth or yeah. uh, Genesis, literally. Um, so they aren't really our archetypes in that they should you know prior to their fall yeah. yeah and certainly afterwards we can like resonate we can go oh yeah I'd have done that sort of stupidness yeah, yeah, yeah. but um, yeah. it's more about looking to Jesus than yeah. to look into mere humans even if they were miraculously like a yeah. I like your thought on the conspiracy of like a world conspiracy oh, let's talk about COVID evolution. when we get off the camera <laughs> Uh, well, conspiracy. Exactly. Just and you said, evolution. what, do you think there could be a global conspiracy? Yeah, and but I'm it like, would be, though. Mean? But it would be. It would be a but mass saying, world conspiracy. Do you know what's going on at the minute? But why would there be such a conspiracy? Why does Satan need a reason to blind you from the truth? Okay, That's if you're looking at it as Satan versus God, Always. and God's truth is this, and Satan's lie is this. There's no God's this. truth. God, if God said a falsehood... No, 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 but I'm saying, if God said there are triangular circles, there would become, like, not in a philosophical term, but he speaks truth into reality. As so as Satan lies, it says that Satan, when he speaks, when he lies, he speaks in his mother tongue. Yeah. He's a liar and a murderer from the beginning. Yeah. Not from the beginning of creation, because he was cherished. So God's words in Genesis, truth, evolution, world, conspiracy, If devil. it denies Christ, 
and Christ spoke of Adam as a real person. That's the clincher for any Christian it should be. Christ himself, who was not an idiot by any stretch of the imagination, didn't lie, spoke of Adam as a real man. And therefore, I'm like, Bob, Bob's your uncle, or not that Bob, because he doesn't believe it. But, yeah, then know? I hear other Christians that oh, will take sorry. Adam as like humanity, mankind. It does and mean it's man. rather than like an individual person, it's talking about a generation. And no, initially, Adam was created as a plurality. Like, um, he, he alone, when he was created as mankind, Adam, but he was referenced in the plural before Eve ever came along. Okay. We shall call their name Adam. Yeah. Like, uh, and there's no they at the moment. There's right. just a he. Yeah. And, um, and he is referenced in terms of having Eve, like as a... So if it's a plural, that means there's more than one. Yeah, because so we're in God's image. God is three in yeah. one. So um, I'll, I'll have to, I'll, I'll send Jay a clip of, because I just yeah. included this in one of my assignments and I feel like, it hasn't been graded yet, so I don't want my <laughs> no, professor sure to right watch it. Yeah. No, I know it's right, oh, but I'm saying it. my professor ain't come back okay, to me yet. <laughs> we'll see what happens with the grade. But yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, well, good stuff. I appreciate so, it. So, all right, I yeah. feel like we've wrapped up nicely. Yeah, that, yeah. You'll be back sense. another I'll day, won't you? Day, Do definitely. some research. Find me some bones. Don't steal them. But find me something or other. I've been dating myself. Find me a change of kind. All and right. if you can, you're in for the big bucks because other big time biologists. I'm going to have a look at that. I'll send you the link as well for that bit, that Christian going yeah, around and cool. asking them it's, it's yeah, brilliant really cool. liar donkey, liar donkey. <laughs> <laughs> imagine that's your epic he's just renowned for that isn't he it's really nice in real yeah. life oh, like when he's calm as anything, no, no. Yeah. everybody he kicks off i know yeah i think he has a a little tingle. A, tingle. <laughs> Say no more. a little a little oh, non-holy spirit yeah okay and, uh, but i appreciate thank it thank you, thank you very, very oh much. sorry yeah no worries, darling. yeah thank there is no you don't believe in it no i just feel like i do like an elbow because it makes me feel like a young person oh yeah i'm part of the gang Listen, bro. <laughs> right, everyone. Okay, so come at me, bros, as it were, if you do believe in um, theistic evolution. It's better to believe in theistic evolution than not to believe in God, obviously. It's not, not particularly what I would consider a salvific issue. However, once you discount a part of Genesis, where does it uh, end? Like, do you discount the commandments as well? Do you, is it all the books of Moses? Like, what's going on like if um if it was just a poem if it was made by the jews to try to account for something that they had zero knowledge of you know how did they get it so right because science has affirmed that we go back to a common ancestor uh, common ancestors obviously because of the way procreation works why didn't why wouldn't the jews have come up with there was a god created a village with 10 men and 20 women and i don't know not much on the tv etc like have a little think about it. If you have any questions, I don't say I'm an expert, but I know a few. Uh, obviously, I've got the Holy Spirit, etc. on hand, on line one. Um, so, yeah, I hope that helped. And if you've never considered it, if you've just bought into evolution because you went to school somewhere, think of all the other false things that they taught you or your children or people nowadays, that what you can see being taught in the education system that is antithetical to Christ. No, oh, after you, sir. And is therefore anti-Christ. So think about that. Have a little spring clean in your brain and uh, just chuck out what isn't um, edifying. All right? God bless you. And it's very warm here. And I shall be off now. And uh, lots of love. Bye.